Don't mistake Justin Moser for a backyard drone enthusiast. He's got his eye firmly on how drones can make his family farm more efficient. Sure, it's fun flying a drone, but I want it for its practical purposes, not just to go fly around on Saturday afternoon, right? So. Right, it, this is business. This is more, yeah, business to me than, uh, than a hobby. So then the next app that you're gonna open. Welcome to Drone School, a popular course among farmers these days. They're learning to map their fields with a drone and a tablet loaded with specialty software. And of course, how to fly a drone, which it turns out is more difficult for some than others. It says ready. Okay. I don't know if I'm ready. But once mastered, the drone advantage is obvious. The big picture view from above can show you things just not visible from the ground. And it'll tell you whether you have healthy crop, unhealthy crop, stressed crop, whether it's trampled, whether there's been some damage from frost or hail. For Wayne Kurkowski, that means pinpointing issues on his 600 hectare mixed farm and treating just the problem areas with herbicides or pesticides. That not only saves money, it's easier on the environment. If we use too many uh, interventions or inputs, they end up somewhere. And so they're going to end up in groundwater, they're going to end up in uh, runoff water, they're going to end up in our food. It's not just the crops. Drones are being used to check on the health and location of livestock. Steve Upham is the Reeve of St. Paul County and a cattle rancher too. Getting into my lease, it can take me an hour and an hour and a half to check cattle, right? If I'm sitting at the gate with the drone, it can be done in 15 minutes. Okay. Time is money for us. One of the limitations on a large farm is a regulation that requires the operator to have the drone always in their line of sight. That's under review. Marcus Weber expects regulations like that will evolve as the technology does. He says the next generation of drones and sensors will be able to measure very specific crop health. It'll tell you exactly what the problems are, what the nutrient levels are, what type of pest might be attacking it. As the technology advances, the demand for these drones on the farm is increasing. Of course, these eyes in the sky have a price. A full kit can cost anywhere from about $2,500 all the way up to more than $20,000. Carolyn Dunn, CBC News, near St. Paul, Alberta. That's some good drone control. Uh, and looking beyond the farm, there are lots of novel uses of drones gaining traction. The United Nations is currently using Romeo drones to battle diseases like malaria and Zika in Brazil. Uh, what are Romeo drones? Romeo is short for Remotely Operated Mosquito Emission Operation. Scientists use radiation to sterilize lab-bred male mosquitoes, and then they're released using drones, causing local insects to decline and stopping the spread of disease.